Is there a trick to catching chickens? Do you need some help? Yeah. Hmm. Well, chickens are pretty fast. You can say that again. You just have to be, well, faster. That's it? Yes. That's all there is to it. Oh. Okay. The long-awaited sequel has arrived, Shenmue 3, the exciting next chapter of Ryo Hazuki's quest to avenge his father. It's been four years since it was announced that Shenmue would return, and after a successful Kickstarter campaign, it's finally here. But it's been so long since we last played Shenmue, two console generations to be exact. So how does Shenmue 3 hold up, you may ask? Well, let's take a look at the story first. Taking place exactly where Shenmue 2 left off, Shenmue 3 starts in Bailu Village in search of Shenhua's missing father. However, that search leads to other missing people, specifically stonemasons and the appearance of a few thugs terrorizing the village. After finding the clue on the next target, Ryo encounters the thugs who he easily defeats. Unfortunately, he's no match for their leader. Now the fighting in Shenmue is actually pretty straightforward. You use a set of button combinations to do attacks or just uh, button mash and hopefully something works. Now you may feel a little intimidated early on when you are overtaken by a boss, but keep in mind some events you're supposed to lose. Now this is one of the staples of the Shenmue series where you're essentially forced to train uh, Ryo's abilities to get better. As you can see here, there are several different ways to train, which includes horse stance for endurance, one inch punch for strength, good old sparring for practicing your skills, and catching chickens to help with your timing as well. Furthering his training with a martial arts master known as Sun, Ryo learns a new technique that can hopefully help him defeat the boss. After you feel comfortable with Ryo's training, you encounter the thugs again and hopefully you've built up your strength and endurance because you're going to fight all three of them at once. But if you've done enough sparring to, well, handle your attacks and again, built up your endurance to be able to last the battle, it really shouldn't be that big of a deal, especially now that Ryo knows his secret technique. As with the past two games, Shenmue really isn't about fighting, it's about progressing in the story and really kind of taking in your surroundings. There's really a lot to do in the little town of Bailu Village, like visiting the local arcade. As with the past two games, there are actually uh, arcades that are designed to help you with your QTE timing, just in case you might need it. Now it's not all fun and games in the world of Shenmue. Good. Well, you gotta pay for all that food and games every now and then, so time to chop some wood or even catch some fish to try to make some money. Or you can try your luck at gambling, see if you have what it takes to win. Of course, there is the return of the fan favorite. Lucky hit. Yep, that's Whoa. right, lucky hit. You try lucky hit. There's really no skill involved when it comes to lucky hit. Just uh, pick a table, drop the ball, and... Just hope that luck is on your side that time. Wait, hold on. Oh, 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 yes, made it. And bananas, really? Once you're back on track into the story, Ryo and Shinwa do discover more about the two mirrors that Landy is seeking and its connection to Bailu Village. Their quest to find Shenwa's father leads them out of the village and into the big city of Niawu. Hopefully, one step closer to Landy. The atmosphere of Nuawu is much larger than the small village of Bailu that Shenhua is used to, which seems to intimidate both her and Ryo, even though Ryo is from Japan. He is a little bit used to the larger city setting, however Shenhua is not, having never left the village. And when it comes to much larger city settings, eventually you will come across some people you know or at least recognize. And the large city setting of Nuawu is no exception for Ryo when it comes to finding trouble. All in all, Shenmue 3 can be considered as a big gamble scene as it doesn't change much or update on how games are played now. But true Shenmue fans will play to see where Ryo's story goes. 
It may put off players who are completely new to the franchise, but those who have never played any Shenmue game should at least give it a shot. Director Yu Suzuki promised us Shenmue 3 when he started his Kickstarter campaign four years ago, and he delivered exactly what he promised. With that being said, we're giving Shenmue 3 a score of 7.5 out of 10, given that a lot has changed in the past 18 years when it comes to gaming, and it looks like Shenmue really hasn't. It plays almost exactly how the first two games did all those years ago. So, does Shenmue 3 really conclude the Shenmue saga? Well, I'll leave you with this shot here, and thanks for watching.